gonna find out. <laughs>
off pack here to Gordon's Well. I um, loaded the truck up and getting ready to head out of here. I thought it was a super fun day. Weather's perfect. It's like mid 70s. It's also an off weekend, so there's not a whole lot of people out here. Um, what were your thoughts on the day and kind of getting to drive out here? Uh, it's fun. Yeah. It's, that was the first time I've driven like a capable truck out here. Yeah. So like it, it's definitely a lot more comfy than like a like driving in hard pack like we normally do. Right. Like we've always also just driven in trucks with leaf springs out here. Um, Christian's truck and a few of our friends' trucks. And once you get to links, like we saw the difference in the dirt, obviously, but even when you get out to the dunes, it's it's a well, even big like difference. superstition is really similar to here. So like we knew what the truck felt like out there, and that was always our favorite spot to drive was out in superstition because it's all sandy and like right. just G outs and risers and stuff like that. So it's the same thing out here. Um, it's just a lot. It's definitely softer here than it is in superstition. Yeah, and it being an off week and not having to worry a whole lot about other people coming your way, obviously you got to be paying attention, but it's a lot more relaxed than a big weekend. Um, I thought that just made it a lot more fun and mm -hmm. you didn't have to worry about too much. But I think we should definitely come back out here more in the season. Yeah, we need uh, we need somewhere to sleep. That's the biggest yeah. thing. Yeah, we're like the kings of day trips. It's like every single time everything's like get out there, go drive, like film, um, and then like get home. So it's a, it's a lot to do in one day. It makes it a little bit more difficult to film, but yeah. uh, always a fun time. What do you think? It was good. <laughs> Everyone's a little bit tired. <laughs> yeah, the truck needs a prep. Yeah, we bad. We kind of came to the conclusion that a few things need to be addressed on the truck. We were feeling a vibration, which we narrowed down to either being a U joint or um, or it's a slip in the drive shaft, one or the other. Yeah, which we were thinking that could be stemming from the limit strap stretching a little bit. So the limit on these trucks at droop is the drive shaft starting to bind. At least it is on this truck. So by using the limit strap, we brought that up a little bit, but now with the limit straps stretched, it might be starting to bind again, and that's the vibration we're feeling. So we need to take a look into that and really uh, deep dive and find out what the issue is and get that resolved. Yeah, that and every single fluid on this thing needs to be changed. Yeah. Bad. It, the truck needs to prep. Stuff's starting to get a little bit rusty, it needs to be repainted. Um, but good thing it's March and it's almost yeah. summer to get that stuff rolling. But yeah, you have any more thoughts? Yeah, we need to get the trailer lights fixed for good. Yeah? <laughs> it's just constant. Like, this whole thing right here needs a prep. Yeah. Everything about it. Well, we also need a little bit more, a little bit more power. Oh, well, being out here, yes. Yeah. That's a given, but like, we've known that for a long time. That's just like, you're spending money yeah. to do that. And that's like, but that like, and we've talked about that. We put more power to it. The whole, the rear axle on this thing is gone. Like we're going to have to replace every single thing if we go to the bigger rear. power plant. more power yeah, yeah. the sure. trans will hold it which now we're the trans is slipping a little bit we don't know what that is yeah. so hopefully <laughs> hopefully a, uh, like a fluid change on that because we haven't done a fluid change since we originally put that in and it's still got the like the break-in oil in it so that'll be we need to swap that we have the maximum for it um but if we put more power to this thing the rear end is what's going to be the next weakest link and we've already weeded a third member once in this thing yeah so well, it's on small we, axles small hubs we it was all of us and i was the one that was driving that <laughs> broke it <laughs> Yeah, so it's one of those things that if we did go to the bigger powertrain, it'd be a huge snowball effect, and it'd be it'd be a lot of work and things that need to change. That'd to be a thirty thousand dollar endeavor. Yeah. So that's gonna conclude this video. If you guys liked it, please leave a like, comment. <laughs> but that's gonna conclude this video. If you guys liked it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. There it is. <laughs>